Oh Mad God everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be learning a lot and we're going to be improving a lot our math skills. But before we continue with the video guys, it's very useful for the channel to grow. If you turn on those notifications, subscribe to the channel and push that like button as well. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Oh my god! Hello guys, welcome back to today's video, which is going to be a little bit of proportional reasoning to solving problems. We're going to be using everything we have seen so far about tables and their um, proportional relationship information. We're going to be seeing also a graph and how it shows whether or not it is a proportional relationship or not and how we compare the information that the table and the graph showed us. So if you want to look at another problem, I'll link down in the description below. That way you have more to practice with yesterday's video. So don't forget to check that out. Let's begin. So guys, the situation we have here is the weight of Michael's and Britney's new puppies are shown in the table and graph. Whose dog gains more weight more quickly and explain? So in this case, we have Michael's puppy and Michael's puppy, we have a table. And then for Britney's puppy, we have a graph. So we're going to have to compare the information that we're shown in both the graph and the table to see which one of the dogs gains more weight more quickly. So in the case of Michael's puppy, we're going to try to see if the table actually shows a proportional relationship. So we're going to divide the amount of y by the time, which is going to be x. As you remember, x is always going to be time because it's our independent variable. So the value for k is going to be y divided by x. So 8.6 divided by 1 is 8.6. Now for our second value is 17.2 divided by 2 and that is also going to be 8.6 and then for the third and last one we have 25.8 after the third month which is again y divided by x and that is going to also be 8.6. So that means Indeed, we have a proportional relationship for Michael's puppy and we have a value of 8.6 pounds per month. Now, let's try looking at Britney's puppy. So Britney's puppy, we have the weight in ounces and we also have the age in months. So we can, we can clearly see that it is a proportional relationship because it passes through the origin and it is a straight line. So we can choose any of the values we have on the table. So for example, we can choose this value, which is going to be two and three ten. So it's going to be our value of y, which is the weight divided by x to find the constant of proportionality. The value of y is going to be 310 divided by two. So 310 divided by 2, and that is going to be 155. Now, remember that this amount is in ounces. So it's going to be 155 ounces per month. Let's say you don't want to use this point right here, and maybe you want to use another one. So maybe you want to use this one. Let's try that one. So if you use this one right here, you're going to see it's 465 as a value of y, and then as a value of x, we're going to have 3 months. So when we divide 465 divided by 3, that is also going to give us 155 ounces per month. So it doesn't matter which point you use from the graph, because it is a proportional relationship, the value of k is going to be the same one. Now we have to compare ounces and pounds so in this case guys we cannot forget that it is 155 ounces per month 
but since the other amount is in pounds, maybe we want to change that amount of pounds to ounces as well in order to compare it. Now, you have to remember that one pound is going to be equal to 16 ounces. So we have to multiply this amount by 16 in order to properly compare the amount of ounces in both cases. So when we multiply 8.6 times 16, that is going to be 137.6 ounces per month. That means that Michael's puppy gains 137.6 ounces per month, but since Britney's dog actually earns 155 ounces per month, that means that Britney's puppy grows and gains weight more quickly. And that is your answer because the constant of proportionality is higher. And that's it guys. So try solving these problems again. You can try using any, any problem, any point you want from that graph in order to find the constant of proportionality K. Um, try other problems. Maybe you can try this point or maybe this point and you are still going to have the same answers. So practice and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.